Okay, so what we're looking at here is a dehumidifier, and this one happens to be in my home gym, and that is a high sense dehumidifier, and it holds about a gallon of water. Holds about a gallon of water, and we keep this going in the basement just to keep things nice and dry. And the question, of course, is can you use this? as a water source. Now in the winter, we have two of these going in the basement. In the winter, these will each collect about a gallon of water every 24 hours. And you see it fills up inside this trap and it's got a ballast in here and that's how that works. And in the summertime, it will collect about two gallons of water. And there it goes, it turned itself back on again. And if we set it outside, it will collect about twice as much. And of course, that's going to change depending upon where you live. Obviously, your atmospheric conditions. I imagine in Arizona, you're probably not going to collect too much. You get the idea. Now, the next question, of course, is, is this water safe? because a lot of people are gonna be nervous about that. Hey, I've heard there's a lot of heavy metals in that water, whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to test it. We're gonna test this water and we're going to also test a glass of tap water and compare the two, oops, compare the two just to see how safe it actually is. Okay, so this is the test system that we're going to be using. It's the On For Home 16 in 1. And if you want to do this, and I recommend you always test all of your water sources. I did a video on this uh, some months ago, actually, that you should test, get a test kit like this. You can get it on Amazon or eBay, fairly cheap. There's your guide, shows you what is safe and what isn't. And there's a bottle inside. It doesn't have to be this brand, it can be any brand. They're relatively inexpensive. Looks like this. You submerge it inside of a test tube. Looks like that. So I'm gonna fill this with tap water, get a test, and I'm gonna set it on the left side. And then I'm going to take a sample from the dehumidifier's basin, and I'm gonna set it on the right side, and we're gonna compare the two to see whether it's any safer than tap water, for example. And again, you should test all your water. If you got well water, rain water that you use, tap water, even your bottled water, water you filter yourself, it doesn't hurt to test it and make sure that everything is good to go. I, I highly recommend just having something like this. Again, they're not very expensive. You can pick your own. Amazon and eBay have a ton of them for sale really cheap. So let's go ahead and start testing. All right, now we can make our comparison. The one on the left is tap water and the one on the right is the dehumidifier water. And you actually turn this upside down. So taking a look at it, uh, cyanuric acid, it, it goes this way and you move it down to make your comparison. So I can see right here the uh, cyanuric acid is off. That's high. It's over here. And this is the tap water again. And then the chlorine is off. Nitrate is off. Nitrite is off. Fluoride, I think the fluoride is in. And then the hardness is way up here. It's like between these two on this scale. And this is again, this is why it's good to um, good to look at this. So nitrates and nitrites and the cyanuric acid and the hardness, if I pronounced uh, the cyanuric acid, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Nitrate, nitrite, cyanuric acid, hardness, and the um, chlorine are high on here. Now we'll take it and we'll compare the water that was taken out of the dehumidifier. Cyanuric acid is also high.
residual chlorine is high, it looks like. Nitrate and nitrite are up there as, again as well. And then the hardness is about midway through the scale. So the water that came out of that dehumidifier is pretty much comparable to the tap water. The readings are very close to the tap water. So I would say if you had to drink it, you could. If you had to drink, comparing the two strips here side by side and comparing it to the chart, if you had to drink it, I would say you could. And of course, that's my dehumidifier. Yours could be completely different. And if you plan on ever using a dehumidifier for emergency water, I would absolutely test it. And I would still filter it. I would filter this tap water. There's no way I would drink straight tap water. I always filter it. I would filter this as well for the obvious reasons. I would filter it anyways. If you're gonna filter your tap water, you're gonna filter this. The readings are about the same, but there's no danger levels of other metals or anything else. There's no mercury or lead warning, things like that, no aluminum warning. It literally looks almost exactly the same as the test strip from the tap water with very, very little variance. If that answers your question, Again, you need to test it yourself. Your dehumidifier may behave very differently than the one that I showed. You should always filter any water like that. I would always filter tap water, so I would definitely filter this. And you may want to test it again after you filter it, just to make sure your filter is doing right. Always test any water source that you use. If you have water sources that you have planned for, in case of emergency, like for example, if there's a lake, a river, a stream nearby, you may want to test it. If you recall, not too long ago, I did, uh, I did a short where I had shown a busted main for sewage that was spilling sewage right into a wooded area, a deep wooded area that was contaminating a local water source. And they did come and fix it. I contacted them right after I had done that short, and they did some send a team out, and my wife and I had to lead them into the woods to show them where it was, because they didn't know. It was off of their map. It was a, a, forgotten, a forgotten access point that was not on the map, apparently. And they did repair it, like they got on it immediately, which is really good to know. But you don't know if your local water sources that you might use for an emergency like a lake, stream, river, pond, whatever, are safe either. Always test that stuff. So I hope that this was informative or helpful or interesting to some of you. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got anything out of this. Uh, rumor has it, it helps with the algorithm. I don't believe that, but I appreciate it. Share it if you can, subscribe if you're new, all of that good stuff. And if that's it, then what more can I say but stay frosty, folks. And thanks for watching.